Think the Statue of Liberty is impressive? Did you know that there was a statue that was about the same height but built over 2,300 years ago? In the Greek city of Rhodes, which still exists today, was a huge statue of Greek sun god Helios that stood 108 feet high. A wonder so big, a new word had to be invented to describe its size. The marvel was known as the Colossus of Rhodes, and it's the subject for our next wonder of the world. The construction of this wonder began in 292 BCE, after Ptolemy I's success against Antigonus I of Macedonia in the famous Siege of Rhodes in 305 to 304 BCE. The city of Rhodes, with the leadership of sculptor Charles of Lindos, would celebrate their victory by selling all the equipment Antigonus' troops left behind and using the money to build the largest statue the world has ever seen. The subject of their sculpture would be Helios the Sun God, Rhodes patron god. The giant statue of Helios stood on an 18 meter high block made of marble and stone by Rhodes's harbor entrance. Many accounts of the statue written after its destruction believe that the Colossus stood at the entrance with ships passing through Helios's legs, although most folks think this is fiction as it would have been way too hard to build such a thing with the tools they had back then. To rub salt in the wounds, some of the statue would even use the same iron and bronze Antigonus's army left behind. Due to its huge size, the monument was built piece by piece over a total of 12 years. No one would know what the statue would look like until its final piece was put in place. In comparison, the Statue of Liberty took 9 years to make, not that much faster than the Colossus over 2,000 years ago. The Colossus would finish construction in 280 BCE, standing at 32 meters or 105 feet tall, and becoming one of the earliest tourist attractions of the world. People from all over the ancient world would visit Rhodes to marvel at this feat, but unfortunately, this would be short-lived, as like almost every other wonder of the world, the mighty Colossus of Rhodes would fall, with this marvel standing for only 54 years, the shortest lifespan of all the seven wonders. In 226 BCE, a huge earthquake struck Rhodes, destroying much of the harbour and many buildings. Among the victims was the Colossus, which snapped at the knees causing it to fall over. Ptolemy III would actually offer to pay to have this wonder stand tall once again, but many Rhodians believed that the statue's collapse was a sign that they had offended Helios and so decided against rebuilding it. But that would not be the end of the Colossus of Rhodes as even the ruins of the statue was a wonder to behold. For another 800 years, up until 653 CE, many still traveled to the land where the mighty statue of Helios once stood proud. The Colossus of Rhodes would be admired by the world for almost a millennia, and unlike the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, we have verifiable evidence that the mighty statue existed. So it kinda sucks how despite the countless recordings of the Colossus of Rhodes, we don't nearly have enough recordings of what the statue actually looked like. The many who would illustrate and write about the Colossus had no choice but to imagine what the statue could have looked like. As mentioned earlier, many drew Helios standing at the entrance of the harbour. Others drew him holding a torch not unlike the Statue of Liberty. But just like much of our wonders so far, it is likely to stay shrouded in mystery. <laughs>